I am an American. I am an American. I am a Filipino American. I am Native American. I'm an American. I'm an American. I'm an American. I am a first generation American. I'm French American. I am a Palestinian American. I am an American. I am Puerto Rican and American. I'm American. I am an Arab American. I'm an Israeli American. I am an American. And I love America. What I love about America is it's my home. I was born and raised here. The country is gorgeous, and the national parks, and driving around is amazing. We have a real good mixture of people in this country. Every race, every ethnicity, every culture, every religion. Different people coming from all over the world, sharing their food, sharing their languages. It's the world in one country. Whether you have a lot of money or whether you have a little bit of money. If you're willing to study, work hard. You can follow whatever your dreams are. It's a lot of freedom, you know? You can do a lot of stuff. Where there's people, nature, creation, I can love that. It doesn't really matter what cultural group you come from, you're given a voice. So here is the first place that we should learn how to unite, how to live together. I think we all have seen prejudice, uh, you know, at one time or another. It's really hard to believe that that even still exists. You know, somebody had called me, oh, those foreigners. And I just thought that was funny because <laughs> actually they were the foreigners. <laughs> and I remember sitting in the cafeteria one day and I looked around and I was the only one with brown skin and black hair and I stood out. It was really hard for Danette's family to except uh, a white guy. It's been very hard for my family when it comes to the gay issue, and it's been what caused us so much pain over all these years. In middle school, as an Arab American, I used to be very like afraid to tell them like where I'm from. It's really hard to hear your sister go through something like that. You don't need anybody else to tell you, oh, this is how you have to be, or stay in this box, and let them pull you down. You know who you are, and you should embrace who you are. And I still have faith that people can grow and learn. Today I see, you know, people asking us to hold hands, people embracing us as a family and respecting us. I feel lucky, very proud, to I can have what I have right now, especially my family. I work very hard like everybody else and try to have my own business, and I got it. As a first-generation college student, it's one of the biggest accomplishments in my life. I'm so happy! <laughs> and I get to come here and I get to dance, and it's so emotional for me. We don't get to pick and choose whether America should be diverse or not. It is diverse. I love that we were able to show America that we can be represented in a different light. It's a beautiful thing. When you fall in love with someone who is different than you are, there's this incredible potential. I feel like we kind of form a bridge between our two families that would never have existed otherwise. I've never felt like I was a brown person in the group of white people, which was incredible. So thankful yeah. for that. <laughs> We are diverse, and instead of judging or being afraid or, you know, making fun of all the different types of diversities and creating these stereotypes, we need to wash all that away and we need to celebrate all the different diversities. I'm hoping through commercials and things like that that just the little snippets of 60 seconds in someone's day can add a question to their mind like, well, why do I act like that or why do I feel this way? Coke is spreading this message of being culturally connected. Now we get to help other people make something positive out of it. We could have one thing in common, and it could be that we like Coke. I'm just proud to be a part of it. I like to treat people like I like to be treated, and uh, I like to be treated good, and I want to treat people right. Yo me siento feliz en América. Gracias. <laughs>